What? Cough drop. No. I'm sorry, I just don't think you understood what I was asking. Maybe, maybe the way I phrased the question, you didn't really know what I meant. What? You seemed confused. I think I understood. Well, if you understand, then why do you keep asking questions? What? See, you keep saying that. Saying what? Yeah, that. It's, uh, it's not really a question, it's more of a verbal tick. I'm not confused. All right, I was just worried because the question, the way I asked it, could have been taken either way. What? Now you're confused? You just said you weren't. Well, I changed my mind. Okay, well, I just mean the way that I worded the question, it could have been taken as me asking whether you wanted a cough drop or whether you needed one. Does it matter? To me, it does. Well, which were you asking then? Whether you wanted one. Do you? No. Well, why not? I don't know. I just don't want one. Just take one. There's nothing stopping you. Except for the fact that I don't want one. Why are you so hung up on that? What? Did George Washington want to cut down the cherry tree? I don't know, maybe. Did George Washington want to cross the Delaware? What are you talking about? Did George Washington want to invent the peanut? Okay, first off, nobody invented the peanut. Did George Washington want to free the slaves? They're a naturally occurring substance. And secondly... Did George Washington... Secondly, George Washington has nothing to do with it. Yes, this. he does! No, he doesn't. Listen, maybe if you just stopped being obnoxious and ate a cough drop already, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. We wouldn't have this problem. I'm not gonna eat it. Here, just... Just take I, it. I don't wanna... Just... I don't wanna eat it. it. Eat it! I'm not putting it in my mouth! What is your problem? I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm sorry. Can you just leave? Just go home or something? I don't have a home. One day, I was walking through the park, was coughing my lungs out. And I saw this girl, and she saw me coughing, and she saw my clothes, and I guess she felt bad for me. She didn't have the money. She gave me a package of Luden's cough drops instead, and an old fleece sweatshirt. She told me that we were going to be best friends, and that we would have adventures together, and that she would run away from home and live with me in the woods and a bunch of other boxcar kid type stuff. She left the park that night and promised she would be back the next morning. I stayed on the bench that night, and I waited, and the next night, and the next night, waiting for her to come back. She never did. Why are you telling me this? Because we're friends. Can you just leave me alone? 